Hey guys, it's Catherine Morgan here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now this channel is here to bring you short but powerful videos to help you to navigate both the emotional side of money, our relationship with money and the practical steps to help you to reduce financial anxiety and become more financially empowered to deserve wealth, grow wealth and create wealth. My name's Catherine and I'm a qualified financial planner and international multi-award winning financial coach. That's a bit of a mouthful. So welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button and do leave me a comment below and let me know what was your biggest takeaway from listening to this video. Speak to you soon. Good afternoon guys, um, I hope you are well. I know some of you will maybe be off on your lunch break right now, enjoying some uh, some time and refueling yourself for the rest of the afternoon. And I just wanted to jump on and share a, an activity and a task that I do every week with myself to help me get focused on balancing all of these different things that we have to do in life and in business. Now, I've just come off of a speaker event with Janet Murray. Janet Murray is a queen content um, producer and she's running an amazing event this week, uh, helping people to plan their entire content for an entire 12 months. And the event that I've just come off Zoom was talking to other business owners and mums in business about how do we juggle balancing between having children, running a business. And actually, I think this video and what I'm going to share with you is relevant, whether you're a mom or not, whether you're a dad, it, it, this actually doesn't really make much difference because most of us feel that we, we want more time, right? Who feels that, that I wish there was just more hours in the day so I could get more things done. I hear myself saying that all of the time. And time is one of the things that we can't manage. You can't manage time. And and yet time is one of the things that we can't make more of. So the four common reasons that I think we find it particularly difficult to stay motivated or to prioritize are these four things. And then I'm going to share with you a really simple exercise that will take you no longer than about five minutes every week to do to help you stay motivated and to prioritize. So the four reasons why I believe that we often struggle to prioritize and to stay motivated, number one is because everything feels like a priority. How many of you feel like that? Everything just feels like this needs to be done and this needs to be done and this also needs to be done. And um, perhaps that's because you're a perfectionist, perhaps because you're a planner and you like to strike things off your list. How many of you keep lists, to-do lists and you like that kind of gratification of ticking it off the list? I know that for me, if I have a list of to do's, it drives me nuts when I can't at the end of the day, like screw that piece of paper up and put it in the bin. I can't stand it. And so I've always struggled with historically trying to stay motivated and prioritize my tasks because everything feels like a priority, right? So I'm going to share this exercise with you at the end of this video that you can use to help you to prioritize when everything feels like it needs to be prioritized. The second reason is that we often get overwhelmed and uh, we can feel maybe some d disorganized. You know, maybe we're trying to find a document on our computer and we can't remember what we saved it as or we maybe haven't organized it in the right way from the start and all your documents all over the place. Um, and then what happens is we get this feeling that kicks in of not good enough. We don't feel good enough. We beat ourselves up because we haven't organized things properly. Um, then the, the, the perfectionist mindset comes out. Oh, well, it's not perfect. And then we can actually waste a lot of energy feeling bad about ourselves. So that's the second reason. The third reason is that we just love a to-do list. And um, the, the trouble with to-do lists is they don't always help you to focus on high income generating tasks. Um, they're quite good to kind of brain dump and get everything onto a piece of paper or onto an online Trello board or something like that. Um, but often a to-do list doesn't always move you forward. A to-do list can sometimes keep you stuck and it can keep you stuck in that ever revolving emotion or feeling of there's always something more to do. 
And one of the things I was talking about today in Janet Murray's event was sometimes it's not about doing more of something. Sometimes it's about doing less of something or looking at what ways to remove tasks or activities that we're wasting time or wasting energy on. Um, and a good example of that, you know, might be you might be spending half an hour um, every morning replying to emails that have come through overnight that could be outsourced to somebody else. So that half an hour of your time could be freed up to be using a more higher generating tasks. And then the fourth one is our emotions get in the way. Our energy levels are all over the place. Do you ever find that? Like sometimes uh, I find this particularly around my cycles that some days I just want to crawl back into bed. I just find it really difficult to focus. Um, and so therefore, it's quite important to be aware of your energy cycles, be aware of when do you work at your most effective? Are you more effective in the mornings? Are you more effective in the evenings? And let me know, when are you more effective? I'm definitely more effective in the afternoon and the evenings than I am in the mornings. I was on a podcast interview this morning at 9.15. I did one the other day at uh, quarter past eight in the morning because it was an Australian podcast. And it really takes me a lot of um, energy to get focused at that time of the morning. I know some people are particularly good in the mornings rather than the evening. So think about when is your energy at its peak and what tasks need to be completed in your business that you could maybe batch. So if you're great in the mornings, batch all of your content creation or your high income generating tasks, your calls with your clients, for example, in the morning and then savor your energy for the afternoon for maybe tasks that can be less energetic. So those are some of the four main reasons why um, we find it hard to prioritize and to stay motivated. And what I wanna share with you now is a very simple exercise that I've been doing for over 18 months now. I, I can't actually remember where I originally learned about this. I think it was in a mastermind. Um, and I now use this with my masterminders when I'm, you know, we, and we share this uh, even with my one to one work, we have a WhatsApp area and I ask them to to do a weekly check in with me. And this is what they use as part of that weekly check in. So I'm going to share this with you. I think it's really valuable. And particularly when you can reflect back on this activity over the year, it's really, really powerful. I've got a download that you can use with this on a template, um, but I'm just going to talk you through these four steps. So if you haven't got a piece of paper to hand, go and grab one, that would be great. So what I would do is take a piece of paper and you can use a notepad for this and keep it all together in one place. And I want you to split your piece of paper into four quadrants. And in the top left-hand quadrant, I want you to title that square wins. In the uh, box to the right-hand side, I want you to title that one up challenges. And in the two bottom boxes, I want you to write lessons, and focus okay so you've got wins challenges lessons and focus so every Sunday every Sunday morning I get my planner I use a daily greatness planner um, and in here I take a page and I split it into four and I write down a list of all of the wins or things that I consider to have been have been successful wins for me that week they can be business related they can be family related they can be health related it's actually quite useful to do it across a spectrum of all areas of your life rather than just specifically business um, because it is all about creating balance not just on finances but on every aspect of your life um, so i look i list out all of my wins and that can be little things like uh, for example today i've connected with a new journalist for tatler magazine um, I've been on a speaker event. I've been engaged and connected with some more entrepreneurs. Um, I have managed to support someone's small business this week. I have um, exercised once this week so far, which is good for me. So, you know, listing out all the things that have been really successful for you that week. Then in the next column, it's about thinking about what are your challenges? What's got in your way? More likely than not, it's probably yourself, your self-sabotaging, or maybe your energy levels have been down, or maybe you've had an argument with somebody this week, or maybe you've had your focus has been redirected somewhere else when you had all good, good intentions to 
do a Facebook Live and maybe something got in the way. Maybe there were some tech issues. So list out all the challenges that you faced that week. Then look at those wins and challenges and think, right, what lessons have I learned about myself that are valuable? And sometimes I take those lessons and I'll journal around them because they can be really powerful lessons. But just taking a little moment to think about, right, what have I learned about myself? Um, and just jot one or two sentences down. What have you learned about yourself that week? And then you can move on to your focus for the week ahead. So you can look at your diary and think, right, let's just do a check in with where I am next week. What am I doing? What's in my, what's in the calendar? What's on my to do list that needs to go into the calendar? Because if it sits on your to do list, it, it stays as a task. It doesn't become or it, or it sits as a to do rather than a task. So move your to do's into your calendar, set up time in your diary to allocate towards those tasks and make sure that they are high income generating tasks. So if you've got any tasks on there, ask yourself the question, does it need to be you that does that or can it be somebody else? Um, is it high priority that week? So if you've got a million and one things and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I feel so overwhelmed about how much I have to do. Think about, does it have to be done in the next seven days? If it doesn't, put it somewhere where you can access that in seven days time or another seven days time or another seven days time. So I use Trello boards and Evernote, those two online tools to help me to organize all of my creative ideas and put them on future lists rather than on my to-do list. So anything that sits on my to-do list is just things that need to be done in the next seven days. Um, and that really helps me to kind of get over uh, overwhelm, feeling of, of, of everything needs to be done, everything just needs to be prioritized. And the great thing about doing that simple exercise is that you can look back, you know, you can look back in three months time and be like, wow, like I completely forgot I'd done that. Or yeah, that same lessons come up again for me this week. Maybe there's something in that. What can I do to further develop and support those lessons to progress them from moving them from a lesson to a win or moving some of your challenges to wins? So think about who do else do you need to support you? Maybe you need to have a conversation with somebody that's an expert in tech you know, in some tech issues you've been having, or maybe you feel like your finances are disorganized. You want to go and have a conversation with a financial person, or maybe there's something going on in your relationship or in your health that you need to get some focus on. So it, it's just a really nice way of being able to take a helicopter view, a step back and think about, right, what's gone really well? What are my challenges? What have I learned about myself? And what's my focus for the week ahead? And it's a really simple exercise. I'll share the link with you in a second as to how you can grab a little template that you can use. And I know some people print this off and they put it in like a ring binder. And then every Sunday they grab the ring binder, sit down with a cup of tea, fill in those four quadrants. And then that just helps to give them focus and clarity for the week ahead. So I hope that's useful. Um, great to see all of you today and drop me a comment in below if um, you'd like access to that download. Um, let me know your thoughts. When is the best time for you energetically, like are you a morning person? Are you an evening person? And if you've got any tips yourself of how you manage time and prioritize, then um, do let me know because I think it's always worth sharing best practices and ideas because there's always so many things to learn. And um, I'm a big believer in learning from everybody that's in my community. So I'd love to hear from you. But have a great afternoon, guys, and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care, bye. Thanks so much for listening, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a big favor and leave me a comment below this video and let me know what was your one biggest takeaway? What are you gonna do differently as a result of watching today's video? Now you can go ahead and check out more free resources available to you um, at the website, which is themoneypanel.co.uk or please feel free to tune into our weekly podcast on all of the typical podcast channels. That's In Her Financial Shoes. And remember, small steps, big wins. Let's go.